And today I just wanted to share with you different things that my family and I eat um, throughout my wonderful journey. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that for the most part, you don't have to always get rid of a lot of the things that we do like and enjoy to eat. We can just replace it with healthier items. Um, one of the other things uh, that I want to discuss is water. So one thing that my family do is we go to Whole Foods. I don't know if you guys have one, but they have alkaline water for only 39 cents a gallon. You can take your own uh, bottle, um, anything that you want to fill up, and you fill it up there. And what alkaline does for our bodies is it keeps our body pretty much healthy and fighting off any type of disease, cold, anything of that nature, is which you really want. You don't want a lot of acidic um, things going into your body so that you can stay healthy. Because see, although I'm going into a weight loss journey, I'm really big on still being healthy um, in what I'm putting into my body. So I wanted to share some things. So one of the things is bread. So I'm not a big bread person, but I do like sandwiches. Like today, I did have me a turkey and cheese sandwich. I had the works on it, the lettuce, the tomato, although I do not eat iceberg lettuce at all. What I do, which is a tip that I wanted to share with you guys, is I take my spinach and kale mix and I put it on our sandwiches or I use romaine lettuce. Um, so that's another way for you to get your greens in for the day uh, instead of a salad if you don't want to do a salad or if you don't feel like sauteing any veggies. You can just put it on your sandwich um, and that way you are getting your dark leafy greens. So bread. What I like is the oat nut bread it's the whole grain bread um we did go through a lot of different breads to see what i would like because i have an issue with texture and a lot of the whole grain breads have like these seeds and stuff in it but this one right here it doesn't have a lot of seeds and it. it's like just the perfect thing it's big enough it's really good um it has no high fructose corn syrup i try to stay away from that um then there's the 27 grams of whole grains per two slices and eight grams of protein per two slices so that's awesome for you know building up our muscles as we're losing this fat because our whole goal is to be you know fat loss and healthy you know not just weight loss so that's one of the things that i get um for the family you can get it at sam two big ones for i think we only paid about three dollars and something for this but it wasn't too pricey if you get it at sam's for two big loaves that's really good another thing um to make sure that i am getting my avocado in uh is that we buy these little guacamole slices because right now avocado is not in season um these little singles <laughs> my daughter just corrected me but um now what you can put it on your bread your salads you know sandwiches dip salsas fajitas whatever you choose but it's already made up for you they're really really tasty and really healthy you're getting your healthy fats in there um for you another thing is we keep coconut oil coconut oil is like the go-to in my household we Pretty much uses for everything um but lately i've been putting it in my green tea instead of the sugar um well i don't use sugar in my green tea regardless i use honey as i mentioned before in the earlier video um but lately i've been putting in this just to make sure i get that extra fat and all the health benefits that come with it uh and of course you can use on your hair your skin you know all that good stuff you can cook with it this is another thing to saute your veggies with instead of um any other other oils but i do use butter too because butter is a lot better than margarine so i'm okay as long as it's the real butter <laughs> i still get some fats in there uh, another thing to crave my sweet tooth our house we love cashew chocolate milk it is really really good it's only 90 calories um per glass so this is another alternative we don't drink uh cow's milk in my home so we do drink almond milk or for my sweet tooth, like I said, I love the cashew milk. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake. You will not be disappointed. If you ever feel like you want ice cream and you're just like, oh, I don't want to mess up my calories, this would be the go-to. Um, okay, and so another thing is 
your coconut water. So as I said before, okay. you want alkaline water or your coconut water or just at least get water in her period. Um, if you want to alkaline your water yourself, because I know sometimes it's hard to find a good alkaline water, you could put lemon and lime in it and it'll actually raise the pH level um, to that as well. And of course it's infused, so it'll help the flavor of your water. Um, and then of course the coconut water keeps you hydrated as well. Uh, another thing I was speaking to you guys before was this beefy crumble. Oh my goodness guys, this is so delicious. So. It is all veggies. It is uh, 13 grams of plant protein. Like that, it, and it really tastes like ground meat. Like you wouldn't even know that you're not having meat in there. Um, I used to buy ground turkey, but I actually stopped even buying that because, like, I don't buy ground beef at all. But this right here, quick, fast, you don't have to worry about browning it. All you have to do basically is put it in the skillet, warm it up. Put it over your nachos, put it in your spaghetti, whatever you use ground meat for, this is your go-to. And it's so quick and easy and so good. I know a lot of them other meats or plant-based meats don't taste like meat. This one, it really does. It's really, really good. And they have a, um, a Fiesta one, so that's really good. And then coconut sugar. So, I actually just bought this, you guys, and we're trying it out in the family, so I'm hoping... You know, my whole family loves it. It is a great replacement for sugar. I know date sugar is a really good replacement, but I couldn't find the date sugar in a big enough quantity um, and affordable for my family because, you know, of course, we're all still on budget. So um, this right here, you literally use it as if regular sugar verbatim. So one cup of regular sugar, you would use one cup of the coconut sugar. Um, so I'm hoping this is really good mm -hmm. and yes. I will let you guys know in the future, you know, how we all like it. Either way, we will be getting used to it. Uh, your pasta. So I wanted to share the type of pasta that we get. Like I said, I do not buy white pasta at all. So, but I love pasta. So I'm not getting rid of that pasta. So what I did was I started buying green lentil pasta. Uh, we started buying this about a couple months now. We've been buying um, the green lentil pasta in replace of the other pastas, um, you know, just to get rid of our white carbs and everything. And it's really, really good. And then, but they're kind of pricey. So if you're on a really budget like we are, sometimes I'll go and get this protein plus um, pasta. So this is a little bit cheaper than the lentil pasta. This box was about $4 and something and some change. So it's worth it though. I mean, but it can be a little pricey. So the plant, uh, the protein plus is really good to get as well. Um, it also has lentils and different things in there, but it's cheaper than if you wanted to get a box of the um, all lentil pasta. So that's the pasta. And then, ooh, we just got us some dates. So, I had dates before, guys, and I used to always put it in my smoothies, but <laughs> I didn't like how it, it felt in my smoothie, like when I would eat it, the texture. Like I said, I'm a big texture person. So this time around, I actually went and bought the house some big dates. It tastes like uh, raisins, like huge raisin plums or whatnot. Um, but they're really, really healthy for you. Great fiber. You know, even if you did one or two a day, um, just to, you know, scarf it down or whatnot. It, I mean, it has so many great benefits. Look it up. Research it. I bet you you'll end up getting you some too. Like I said, I don't want to lose weight. I want to lose fat more than anything. And I want to be healthy. So, guess what, guys? I found chips that are great for you. I mean, not great for you, but it's better than your normal chips. So these are pop chips, okay, and they only have 100 calories per bag, and it's not fried at all. And they don't taste too bad either. They're they're pretty good. I like the barbecue ones. Um, my family don't really care for the sour cream ones. I haven't tried those ones yet, but they do like the plain, and I like the barbecue. Uh, so this is something for you guys to look into. Um, we bought a big box at Sam's Club, and so far, so good. This is what I ate with my sandwich today, and it was pretty darn tasty. Let me just tell you. Uh, and another thing, I told you guys that I had the um, granola, the dark chocolate granola and raspberry. Um, to help my sweet tooth as well and yet still be healthy. Uh, so this right here 
it's about for this entire bag about 140 calories so that's that's really good so even if you're on your calorie count this is a great go-to as well and healthy and good for you and your sweet soup and your lentils so i did buy a big thing of lentils at trader joe's you guys this is great for protein and amongst other things uh you can put this over your salads you can put this in like i actually make gravy with lentils and you know you wouldn't even know the difference so there's so many ways you can just kind of get your health into your normal foods that you would make and not for like you know, you just got to eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and stuff that you really don't like. Keep it bland. You can just blend it in. I mean, I have children, so I have to, like, figure out a way to get healthy things into stuff, which is why I had first discovered this Beyond Meat, was trying to get my son to eat his vegetables. Um. So, yes. And two more items. Here is the Green Plant Juice Blend from Trader Joe's. This is really, really good. So if you don't feel like juicing your own things at the moment or you're just in a quick hurry, this right here is a great go-to. It tastes like fruit, but it's so healthy. Like it has, um, let me read what it has in here. It has the barley grass, spinach, broccoli, like all types of other stuff. Spirulina, which is really great for your brain, all that good stuff. So that's good too um, for you guys. And dun, 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 dun. no, I don't always just drink water. I love tea. I love, 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 love tea. So I got the pear leaf tea. It was actually on sale um, for a dollar fifty for this big thing. And this by itself, like it, it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners or nothing. It's just tea and sugar, which is what I love. And it only has uh, what about a hundred calories? Yeah, 100 calories per um, 12 ounces. So that's great. You still can get your sweet tooth with, with your drink and, you know, still be healthy and not have to worry about your calories. You gain weight from it. So Pure Leaf is a win for me. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of just some of the items that we have replaced and we use so that we can still stay in our wonderful journey of losing this fat and still being healthy. Um, I'm just the biggest thing. The goal is not to just be skinny, but it is to be healthy in my household. So, you know, as my daughter said, though, it's to be thick. But that's not <laughs> that's not exactly what it is we want to still be healthy and be mindful of what we're putting in our bodies and you can do it affordably if you're buying in bulk um my brown rices i buy in bulk or i get the ones that you just put in a bag and you know boil it which those are a time saver and truly convenient um and then i get the what is it the quinoa or whatever, I get like stuff like that at Trader Joe's, the frozen bag. I'll just toss that in there, put that on my salad as well. We just had zucchini last night, made it as like little pasta noodles. You can put that on top of your salads. And yes, I had some honey buffalo wings yesterday and they were absolutely delicious because it's in my calories. I can do that. Like I've learned how to still eat what I want, but be more mindful of my calories. I've just cut down a lot of my sweets, which is why I have a lot of the other things um, to replace it, to help my sweet tooth. And of course, not eating super late. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to give you that quick tip of what I do and what I've done so that I don't feel like I am just depriving myself and then I end up binge eating because uh, that's ultimately what will happen. <laughs> So thank you so much again for joining me in my world and my wonderful journey. I hope some of this helped you and maybe, you know, you guys can go and just replace certain items and that way you're still getting that, you know, wonderful taste that we all love and enjoy, you know, of food. All right. Thank you. Much love, peace and happiness. Have a good one.